okay we will start with the selecting the default cube and pressing x and deleting it then go to add mesh circle click enter go to edit mode press f to fill the face then we would like to rotate it in the x-axis at 90 degrees so press r x and 90 to rotate it in 90 degrees then press 1 to go to the front view we would like to place the camera in this view so we will press ctrl alt at 0 to place the camera and then we go to the shading editor and uh, press the render mode then we will just hide the camera uh, we will select the render machine as uh, ev and we will uh, tick the blue now we will go for adding the materials uh, click new material we will start by uh, deleting the principal bsdf then uh, we will add a shader mix shader then we will connect the mix shaders output to the output shader then we will add two more shaders emission and then uh, a transparent bsdf we will connect the emission to the upper socket of the mix shader and the transparent to the lower socket of the mix shader then we will go and add a texture gradient texture and then uh, we will add a converter color ramp so we will connect the gradient texture color to the factor of color ramp and color of color ramp to the mix shaders factor then we will add two more nodes one will be a vector mapping node vector mapping and then uh, connect that vector output to vector input of the gradient texture then another input texture coordinate we will connect the object parameter to the vector now we will change the gradient texture from linear to spherical and then we will change the emission color from white to orangish and increase the strength to approximately 75 and then we will adjust the color ramp by holding the point on the right drag it to the left so as we drag it we will see the black color spherical transparent shader size increasing so increase it up to be comfortable with the rim size of the solar eclipse and then it's done all you have to do is adjust the X location and see the solar eclipse happening. You can also adjust the location of the Y to have a partial solar eclipse effect. You can go to the world properties. And change the color to complete black and uh, if we need we can also hide the overlays to have a view of how our render will look now we can just have a render sample render okay for me the rim looks a little thicker so i will just reduce the size of the rim by adjusting the color rim. okay folks that's it now if you adjust the location of the x and y and keyframe it then you get your procedural solar eclipse thanks for watching the video if you like it press the like button and if you want more videos like that press the subscribe button